Okay, so this video is going to talk about now just the Rhino component of this is like bringing in uh, your auto model element into the image. Okay, so let me just unpack that process. We'll go back to Photoshop just to show you. Okay, it's this, what you're looking at is this area here. Now what I wanted to kind of achieve was at least a certain kind of degree of dimensional like height. Uh, we saw that on Stop City. Aureli did that too in that image that we showed for, as a case study. It's a little exaggerated. This is also exaggerated. You'll notice that the building heights are actually probably too high. I don't know. Um, but um, I wanted to kind of emphasize at least like, uh, like a certain kind of um, height. Uh, we also get that from the streets, uh, the Tokyo streets, the, that kind of height. So let's talk about how to match kind of scale-wise your, your project to the to the image. I would just use QGIS in this case. Uh, it's actually pretty useful. You can, for ballpark, it's fine. I think for this project, it's fine. It's just a ballpark. Um, there's a measurement tool in QGIS up here. And I will measure line. Okay. Uh, say new. And then like say a typical street, I'll just say, okay, from here to, from here to here is let me go feet uh 52 say 52 feet that seems a little little long but okay or no um sorry 14 let me let me let me do new let's try this again from from street to street uh no yeah 12 12 like 13 feet uh, probably 15 maybe 15 feet right so i'll say okay so i at least know the typical street with 15 feet okay so I can go into Rhino now. What I would do is, okay, so you're going to start, you're going to have your aggregate system. It may not even be designed yet, right? But what I would do is I'm going to go to top view. Looking at top view, I'm going to, I'll turn this one off. This is like a ground plane. I'm going to turn that off. Let me also, um, I guess, yeah, this this is fine, okay? And so let me just, show, so what we've done here is I've 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 added a picture that I've added the picture into into Rhino. Okay, so let me just do that again. And so I'll do picture. Okay. And I'm gonna actually would take in the, the image. In this case I actually I exported the image out of Photoshop. This image I exported this before I did this. I had this general thing and I brought it into to uh, Rhino. So um there's a Right, this file is here. Okay. Now, what I do know, and I didn't do this in the in the when I did this exercise, I didn't scale it. I just eyeballed it. You know, I, I just tried to generate just for the demonstration. But what I would do, if you know exactly how big your building is, uh, what you can do, what we say the street was 15. No, I would say, okay, yeah, let's just yeah, fine, 15, 15 feet across here. Uh, I'll just scale this photograph to that so i'll run scale across here something something like that 15 feet oops 15 feet let me let me do that again oh i was in let's see scale yeah just regular scale okay 15 okay so that's now 15 feet okay so it was a little off right so then so then right so then if i knew let me grab the model elements if i knew that was 15 then you know then i know that uh, i scaled this up now to actual this is actual size so right, always work in actual size in in this drafting mode, and then you know I don't you know I can say well the 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 length the width of my building is is uh, twenty feet. Okay, well that's how that would actually that would be this <clears throat> the the relative size. That's a super slender building, right? So I would even yeah. And, and what I did here is I, you know, so I, I would scale it up. Okay. If I scale it up, what is my, now my width of this 390 inches. Okay. So yeah, it's, that's fine. That's in this case, that's, 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 uh, that's plenty. 
what was that three thirty uh, thirty six feet or something? So the uh, so that's how you're going to manage scale. You're going to know uh, what I would encourage you to do, though, is be, like I did this kind of retroactively. What I would do is scale the photograph up to size, okay, based on your your measurements, and then um, bring your project into this. Bring up uh, at least a segment of the of the project into into this uh, as it is, as as it's meant to be scaled, and take a look at the scale of of, of your project relative to the image. Okay, so I will uh, I'll, I'll stop this this video. This one is much more about scale. This topic I want to make sure that you're kind of aware that you're you will keep an eye on that that your project is uh, scaled kind of correctly relative to the photograph. Okay, uh, that's really important. So the next video I'll kind of move forward and talk about how I generated the um, the information we needed to to bring it into somewhat of a some kind of a visionary kind of like like proposal so that'll be the next video